based in Wellington, Florida, is limitless performance. Helping athletes reach their potential is strength and conditioning coach Mike Bartholomew. He trains a range of professional athletes and is now bringing his expertise to the equestrian world. If you're riding a horse, you're an athlete, so you have to, you know, conduct yourself as one. You gotta do the eating right, the training, just like everybody in the equestrian world, all the top riders, they take care of their horses like no one else. You know, like they get vetted every week, they get checked, new shoes and all that stuff. So as a rider, I thought to myself, I'm like, why is everyone not taking care of themselves? Because, you know, like, I know I used to play sports and that's, that's what we do. You know, we train, we recover, train, recover and work, you know, work hard. If you work hard, you gotta take care of yourself. Just like in the NBA, the NFL, soccer, a lot of kids look up to those sports and those athletes because they see how much effort these athletes are putting in. So now, and the question we need to also teach our youth how to put an effort into something that they want to they want to turn into a dream and a passion. Scientifically, you want to look for tightness. You want to look for so if I see somebody walk through the door the first day, I'm just going to look how they're walking. Usually I look to see how, you know, how they walk with their steps, if the steps are too wide, too wide or if they're, if they're narrow and all that stuff, or if they're walking, you know, on their, on their toes and stuff like that. I pay attention to stuff like that. Another thing I do is um, I try to see, to, to see how they sit. So if I see somebody sit and I can see their back go like this, and I know we need to work on that arching of the back, keeping that posture right. Because as a rider, you gotta make sure that posture is always right. Alongside developing the equestrian community, Mike trains players from the National Football League during their off-season workouts. You know, he trains people who ride horses and it's a, it's a different workout than what I'm doing. And uh, uh, basically, they do a lot of legs and stuff like that, and I do a lot of upper body with legs. And so, to me, it's, it's, uh, I think it would be hard for me to do what they do, uh, just knowing how much legs and core they do, they have to work on in order to stay on top of ours. I love it being here. I know he's gonna work me to my limit. Um, just being around him, he's a great person. Uh, just, he, he's willing to make me hurt to a certain extent where you know I want to give up, but I know he's not going to let me do that because his job is to make me look weak in here. So when I'm on the field, you know, I'm at my best. There's a reverse effect with the NFL athletes wanting to be involved more with the horses, wanting to be involved more with the equestrian. Like, prime example, Cravon LeBlanc, he plays with the Eagles. Um, he loves horses, you know. Um, he likes to be around, he, he likes to be around, you know, all the riders when they're here training and maybe do certain exercise with them and train with them because it's, it's fun. And if we go to the horse show, he goes pet the horses. You can see, horses brings good energy. So we have people with good energy and you have good chemistry around. You, you, it's, it's all one. One thing we have in common, I would say, is just the competitive edge. You know what I'm saying? That's a competitive sport, and football, obviously, you know, is a competitive sport. I'm meeting great guys that GG obviously um, allowed us to meet, like you and you yourself, Robert, guys like that, and just being around those guys is a, is a great honor. And just being in this world along with just horse riding and just learn, learning about horses, even though, like, I always wanted to get into it and I never really had a chance to just fully get into it because of my career, but now, you know, um, just being around these guys is giving me that extra oomph to going on ahead and look more into it and become an actual horse owner one day. One of the equestrians benefiting from working with Mike is Mexican show jumper Eugenio Garza Perez. You got everything. You got NFL athletes, you got uh, football prospects, you got um, I don't know, there's uh, volleyball players, baseball players, then uh, obviously the majority is us, the, the show jumpers and, and other people who ride horses. And it's just, it's great to see how they train differently. I mean, NFL players, they, they train a certain way and we athletes train a different way. But I think Mike, what's so great about him is that he kind of mixes them all up and uh, we learn a lot from them and hopefully, yeah, it's fun. 
a lot of riders that trains here are getting ready for the Olympics. So for me, it's a big deal. It's important and it's special to be able to be part of their journey, helping them reach their full potential. And I plan on um, being there with Eugenio as well because he wants me to be there with him. So we'll probably be getting him fit and keeping him strong and all the recovery work and a little bit of exercises while he's there to make sure he's ready to go mentally, physically, and yeah, spiritually too.